Hi there. What I'm going to do today is show you how to use um, Microsoft Word's Mail Merge feature. And this is for Word 2016. This will enable you to uh, download data from your TaxNet Pro account. Essentially that data ends up in an Excel spreadsheet. I'm going to show you how to manipulate that data and put it into a marketing letter, which is a very powerful function. Um, of, of having a pro account. This is going to enable you to grow your business, to do some marketing. So the first thing I'm going to do, here is all the fields that I had it um, download. And I just had it download a subset of data looking for people with a specific deed date and a home within a specific size range. The first thing I'm going to do, uh, I'm just going to clean up columns I don't need. And I don't care what the account number is. And I don't care about these two columns either. I care about their address, where they live, the owner's first name and last name. This other owner name information I don't need. I'm just going to delete it. I want their zip code and extended zip. I don't need just the extended zip broke out. I don't need the spouse's first name, though that could be important if you are doing a different kind of mailer. And I don't need this information here either. Um, year built and stuff could be uh, very handy if you were doing a, a mailer, you know, I'm looking for people that only have homes that are three years old or two years old. But I care more about uh, the total market value in their name and stuff uh, for my mailing. And I'm just getting rid of the other stuff to make my screen cleaner. Now, if you notice over here, uh, we have a couple of things going on. One, you look at that owner address. And when you think about what your mailing labor, labor label ah, and your letter is going to look like, that's not the way you want it to look. So there's a function within Microsoft Word or with in Microsoft Excel that lets you change the format. And it's called the proper function. And so you just type the equal sign, the word proper, and then I'm typing A2 because that's where the data resides. You hit enter. And as you notice, it changed the way that that is displayed. You go in, in that right-hand corner, you see a green box. Double-click on that real quick and notice it moved everything. Now hit Control-C, click your mouse over here, right-click it, hit Paste Values, and now all of that has been fixed. I don't need this column anymore. I right-click, I hit Delete, it's gone. Let's do it one more time. So I'm going to select this column. I'm going to insert a new one. I'm going to use the proper function. And this time I say B2. And you notice it changed the way that Allen displays. I double click. I control C. I click over here. I right click and I say paste values. I go up here and I right click and I'm just going to delete that. The first name and last name we've already put in the right order for you. The zip code is fine. The word Texas is off. So we'll go ahead and we'll insert a new field. And what do we call it again? The proper function. Proper, and this time it is at E2. And you notice we fixed Texas, which of course we probably don't want to do. It looks like TX would work. So fooled you there. But you get the point. You at least now know what that proper function is all about. So now let's shoot over to our marketing letter. Oh, but first, let's save this. And so this file, I'm going to save as something I called video data. And I saved it in my downloads file. And I already had one there, but I'm going to replace it. Now let's go over to our Microsoft Word document. So here's my marketing piece. And what I want to do is tell Microsoft Word, I want to mail merge some letters. So I click on the word letters. Well, now it's going to say, well, who do you want to send that to? And I'm going to say, hey, I've already got a list done. Remember, we just got done doing it a minute ago. I told you I saved it in downloads, and we called it video data. There she is. I'm going to open that up, and I'm going to select the middle option. And now. What do I do? How about we insert the merge fields? So the first thing I want to do, I'm going to send it to the owner's first name. Now I'm hitting the space bar, and I'm going to go to the owner's last name. Now I hit return, 
and guess where we're going next we're going to look for the address field and there it is and now I hit the return and I go back up and I say I'm going to use the owner city space state comma space and zip code now I'm going to go down here and say well who am I going to send it to how about dear first name now let's also down here I have a special area I was going to insert the value of their home so let me just I wrote the word insert so I'd remember to do it and now I'm going to go with market value so let's clean this up let's select these three and we're going to go to layout and we're going to shrink the spacing so that it looks a little more normal and now let's get rid of that extra spacing and I'm guessing uh, you'd want to have something down here your name and the name of your company now again you don't want that kind of a space so you go up here and you shrink her up and you want to have a space for your name now I wonder how that's gonna look well here's what you do you hit the preview results field and that shows you what your letter is gonna look like notice it pulled in the name Allen Texas dear Maria B and it pulled in the value of her home and you could have put a dollar sign here if you wanted now you simply click the finish and merge and you're printing letters I mean I'm hitting that and it says you want to print them and if I hit print it just simply asks you to select your printer and it will start printing those letters so make sure you have your stationery in there if you have company stationery I hope this helped you out uh, I'm also going to make another video that shows you how to do mailing labels but here you go take advantage of this powerful feature of a pro account this is the way you're going to grow your business, people. Uh, customize a letter, and, and you've, got to get, you've got to be marketing all the time if you want to grow your business. I wish you all the best of, of luck. Um, now, go get after it.